So here we are in my Jeep that I drive over the uh, winter months. Um, I wanted to do a video about this. Uh, I kind of been reading on the internet about this acetone in your gasoline type deal. So I went ahead and tried it and I figured out a few weird things. But um, first let's take a look at my uh, my real-time readout of my gas mileage. Now it's 30.2. And just to prove that I'm not making this up, this is slowly going to drop because I'm just sitting here idling. And um, over time, you know, idling, I'm not getting any miles to the gallon, so it should start to drop down. But um, it's a little bit, it gained a little bit here because when I came into town I was just uh, slowing down. But I got pretty much 28 miles to the gallon all the way here. Um, I went about... Um, let's see here. It's about 15, 20 miles, and uh, the speed limit was 55 mile an hour. You know, I went about 60 miles an hour. Um, and you can see that, obviously, see we're still sitting at 29, but it's slowly dropping just because we're sitting here idling. But you can see that, you know, 29 miles to the gallon, that's quite a bit for a gas-guzzling inline-six Jeep. Now here's even the crazier part. My Jeep's been stuck in four-wheel drive for the last three years, so hence I only drive in the winter, so I'm not too concerned about it, but that's that good a gas mileage with in four-wheel drive. So there is something to this. So now we're at 28.9, but um, what I want to explain is kind of why it has its problems and why we don't see it <clears throat> widespread in gas. So I get my most benefit out of my acetone when my tank is, <clears throat> excuse me, when my tank is almost empty and then I add the right mix of acetone to my full tank of gas. And you're supposed to add about two ounces, I think is what I've come up to be my most efficient mixture, two ounces to every 10 gallons. Now it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's really made a difference in my car. So, but the trick is, is I need to do it when it's totally empty and fill it up to when it's totally full. Even if I'm halfway down on a tank that already has acetone in it, it doesn't make a difference. I won't get the gas mileage because it'll disperse through that entire area. I'm gonna go ahead and shut my car down here so I don't use any more gas, but um, you know, it's weird. It's like if I'm, um, if I just put the acetone in and I go for a long drive, I get really good gas mileage. But um, after that first day of putting it in, it almost like evaporates out and pretty much the, um, the benefits of it are negligible from that point on. So that first day I put it in and I put it in on an empty tank all the way to a full tank so it's mixed all throughout the fuel, it does really well. But what I'm thinking must happen and it doesn't make a lot of sense, it shouldn't happen, but um, when the tank, say I would drive half a tank of gas, and then I'm sitting there with half a tank of gas left with acetone in it. Now, that acetone must evaporate into that airspace in the gas tank between the fuel, you know, and the leftover area of the gas tank, because my gas mileage goes way down from what you saw was, uh, you know, 28 miles to the gallon, 29 miles to the gallon, goes all the way down to like 21 or 22, which is pretty good gas mileage. You know, I cut my catalytic converter off this Jeep, so I get a little better gas mileage, but you know, that's really not all that good. And with the acetone mix, it's really pretty negligible if it's doing anything at all. So it seems that if you're gonna use acetone, you wanna use it when you're on a long drive and um, you wanna fill your whole tank with it and um, if you only fill up half your tank, you want to add acetone to account for the part of your tank that, um, you know, were to be already full. So if you had half a tank and you filled it up to full, you'd want to add enough acetone to account for, you know, the whole amount of the tank, it seems. Um, if I don't do that, I just, I'm not getting anything out of it. So it either evaporates out or something happens after it's sat in there for a while. But um, anyway, for the price, and if I go on a long drive, it does really well. Um, acetone's about, you can get eight ounces at Walmart for a dollar, and you have to uh, <laughs> walk down the uh, fingernail polish remover section, um, but you can find it for 99 cents. And then, 
it'll last you a little while and I think the advantages are there but just don't expect anything after the first day but in that first day that you put it in or that first drive it does really well but um let's get out of the parking lot here but uh that's really all I've seen so you know take it for what it is that's what it does so anyway there you have it Get a little slide in there. Alrighty, Thunderhead out.